Well, we've got a photo of your living room here. Love the couch. Now take a look at the 88 LSS. Cooler seats, much better sound system. Plus, it handles better than your living room. Not to mention many cars. So if you're gonna sit down, at least do it someplace good. It's your money. He's impacting my life in a lot of different ways. He is interested in the students as people. He commands your respect. He's accessible to the students. My hopes and dreams are not just whims. They can become reality. It made it seem like I was the only person that she was teaching, that my success was very important to her. Very amazing individual. If Morley Safer looks like he's up to no good, he is. He's buying an alien ID card, a birth certificate, and a social security card. All fake and all on 60 Minutes, Sunday. Someone's killing patients in the city's hospitals. She's arresting, get the card in here! Was it the doctor they convicted? Or did someone set him up? You're under citizen's arrest, flung off for flight. Now, is he running to prove his innocence or cover his tracks? Hello! Tim Matheson, Robert Pastorelli, Harmful Intent, Tuesday. Well, there are some new faces for these two teams, new players back at Chrysler Arena. Let's meet the starting lineups for Duke and Michigan. We turn it over now to Jimmy Barrett. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Chrysler Arena for this afternoon's game between the Duke Blue Devils and your Michigan Wolverines. Now let's meet the starting lineups. First, for Duke, at forward, a 6'8 senior from Mobile, Alabama, number 21, Antonio Lang. Excellent shot blocker. At forward, a 6'10 junior from Escondido, California, number 52, Eric Meek. Has made great strides in the offseason to move into the starting lineup. At center, a 6'11 junior from Huntington Beach, California, number 44, Cherokee Parks. Coming off a 20-rebound game. At guard, a 6'5 freshman from Fayetteville, North Carolina, number 5, Jeff Capel. Only his second start. Tough assignment. At guard, a 6'8 senior from Reston, Virginia, number 33, Grant Hill. One of the nation's best. And the coach for Duke in his 14th season, Mike Krzyzewski. And we could say the same thing about him. For Michigan at forward, a six foot six senior from Austin, Texas, number 21, Ray Jackson. Really improved last year as an offensive performer. At center, a six foot nine junior from Chicago, Illinois, number 25, Joan. Got to do it all inside for Michigan this year. A guard, a six foot two sophomore from Clarkston, Michigan. Number 11, Dugan Fight. He's going to have to play like a Heisman quarterback today. And forward, a six foot five junior from Plano, Texas. Number 24, Jimmy King. Love to watch him play above the rim. And a guard, a six foot eight junior from Detroit. Number five. Do we see the real Jalen today? And the coach for Michigan in this fifth full season, Steve Fisher. 17 and 3 in NCAA tournament play, that says it all. We're going to find out a lot here today, Billy. Duke and Michigan. Tip off is next. Where's my father? Papa, look what came. My acceptance letter to college. College is a wonderful thing. Mine you can have a fine life here. What do you need from college? Remember how we talked about my going away to college? I know what you're going to say. But at college, they have professors from all over the world. And, and it'll all help me with my wanting to be a writer. Hey, kid, what are you going to write about? For over 150 years, America's universities have given kids from everywhere 
the chance to pursue their dreams through an education. And what their dreams have given back to us is immeasurable. So what do you think? Well, Arthur, I think if that writing thing doesn't work out, you'll make one heck of a salesman. Before they were all-stars, before they were superstars, they were shooting stars. Now go back to school with the greatest players in tournament history in shooting stars of the NCAA championships. See vintage footage of O'Neill, Worthy, Johnson, Leitner, Alcindor, Bird, Ewing, Manning, and Magic. Available wherever videos are sold or call 1-800-999-VIDEO. Duke and Michigan. Each undefeated here in the opening weeks of the season. The officials, Paparo, Scagliata, and Gray. Controls at the start. Jimmy King on Hill. What do you think of that? Well, it puts it, it puts Jalen Rose on Meek. Let's see what Meek can do with it inside. There's an example. Oh. Put it up with the left hand, right back to Hill with the putback. And Duke scores quickly on a couple of offensive rebounds. Jim Jalen normally is in a position where he is too big for the man guarding him backcourt play. Fife threw it over to Howard. That's a backcourt violation. Now watch, watch Jalen Rose. He's going to guard Eric Meek. Meek is going to take him down inside. Very active and powerful player. Jalen's really going to have to block out. Now there's a switch. Now it's going to be Jackson on Meek. Jalen on Lang. Parks way outside. Jumper, yes. Cherokee. Beautiful touch by Parks. Averaging 15 points, 10 rebounds a game. And here you have Jackson Meeks. They've got to get Jackson the ball where he can operate. Two turnovers by Michigan and two trips. Bill chases it down. Duke will reset. Here's Jeff Capel. Capel getting his second start. Freshman from Fayetteville, North Carolina. Good drive. Powerful. Fike tipped it over to King. Michigan looks a little cold right now. They got to get that ball into Jalen's hands, let him make something happen. But he's guarded by the number one defender in college basketball last year. Fife dribbling out of traffic. Here's Rose. Tough shot. Parks underneath, battling with Ray Jackson. Fans wanted walking. It might have been not a good idea by Grand Hill. Fife steals it. Jackson right inside the three-point line, back to the rim. I tell you, some collisions inside, no whistle, so they're going to let them play. Jim, you can see the difference between this Michigan team and last year. You know, when it went up on the offensive glass, they had a bunch of hands up there, particularly Weber. This is a very small team. It's got to really battle and box out. And there's not much size coming off the bench either for Michigan. There's Here's a steal. steal. Jimmy King will put Michigan on the board. Now, that's how you compensate for the lack of size. You use your quickness. Grand Hill playing up on top takes him away from his great offensive play in around that 12-foot area. Tony Lang stripped by Rose. From behind, which is something that Jalen does extremely well. Tony makes a good move on him, and there you see the block from behind. Big screen. Oh, Parks almost lost it. Under 10 on the shot clock. Hill with five on the shot clock. Two, one. Oh, and he traveled. Jim, I mentioned the versatility of Grand Hill, but if you were an opposing coach of Duke, 
You'd like nothing more than have Hill 22 feet away from the basket being guarded by Jimmy King as opposed to last year where Hill was 10, 12 feet from the basket away and the ball in Hurley's hands. And with knees, Meeks and Jackson, they're going to call Jackson pushing off. Neither team pressing. We've seen some teams around the country employing great presses this year. Connecticut, Arkansas. We saw Kentucky's press a week ago. Both of these teams basically playing half court. Capel spinning around, freeing himself. Air ball. Jackson, good job of blocking out, but off his knee. It'll stay with Duke. Pretty good job by Capel, though, Jim. He's getting free for shots. Pipe is going to have to play him a little bit more solid. Good hustle by Jalen Rose. Here's Capel trying to feed it to Meek. And another turnover. There have been only three field goal attempts in this game and seven turnovers. Three field goal tries, seven turnovers in the early action. What happened on that little miscommunication? Meek figured on that drive, Capel was going to put it up. Meek already moving for the rebound. King cutting through, high locking jumper. Hill skying for the rebound. Capel on a wing, three pointer. He's not bashful. Been very offensive so far in this game. 7 2, Michigan's only bucket on a breakaway dunk off a steal by King. And now Howard, a lot of dribbling outside and a blocking foul called on Parks. Well, we watched Howard yesterday put the ball on the floor. He's very capable from that far out with the dribble. Duke, back-to-back -back national championships, 91, 92, and 10 Final Four appearances. King three-pointer. There you see it again, all Duke up in the air for that rebound. Three. Three sets of hands, and they were all wearing blue jerseys. Parks on the line. That was a two. Way too strong. Not a good shot selection there, even though Cherokee made his first one from the outside. Howard baseline. Tipped out. Michigan basketball. So we've reached the first dead ball under 16 minutes. Time out on the floor. Duke 7-2. Driving an Oldsmobile 88 is like sitting in your living room? Well, we've got a photo of your living room here. Love the couch. Now take a look at the 88 LSS. Cooler seats, much better sound system. Plus, it handles better than your living room. Not to mention many cars. So if you're gonna sit down, at least do it someplace good. It's your money. A legendary holiday feast for four. A plump Colonel's rotisserie gold chicken. Two large side dishes and four cornbread muffins or biscuits. All only $10.99. Only at KFC. 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 Happy holidays. Hey, Remington. Shave this. Remington introduces the Triple Foil. The only shaver with three narrow microscreens. For hard-to-shave places on hard-to-shave faces. The Remington Triple Foil. If you can grow it, we can shave it. 
Next on CBS, the Falcons. Trash-talking, high-stepping rabble-rousers. Face the Niners on a six-game winning streak. No need to talk trash. We're big fans. Well, Grant Hill made the preseason All-America team, joining Robinson, Montrose, Kidd, and McCaffrey. And I would say all have distinguished themselves well so far this season, Jim. Michigan only one out of six from the floor. Good defense by Cherokee Parks. Howard missed the chippy, but back out to Michigan. Oh, and Parks forces the steal. He'll try to get it ahead to Capel, and King stole it back. Second pass that Grand Hill has thrown away when he had a potential break. Rose underneath. Tough angle. Well, he was able to use that famous left hand of his. Now you see Jalen going inside, realizing he is going to have to do something on the boards for his club today. Chris Collins has come in for Duke, number 20. Which means Jalen cannot cheat because Collins can hit the three. And this is going to be the second on Ray Jackson. Jim, you pointed out at the top of the show, this is not a deep Michigan team, as opposed to last year. Everybody talks about Weber, but they lost four seniors that provided the depth from the clubs of the last two years. Here's where you want Grant Hill. Stolen. What a steal. Rose reached right in and stripped it. Fife to the trailer, and Lang was right there. Double team, Fife got a piece of the arm. Jim, as usual, when you look at the stats of a Duke team, or any outstanding team, they end up with that stat that keeps jumping out to where they make more free throws than the other team shoots. And here we are, early in the season, only four games. So far, they have made 80 free throws. Their opponents have shot 45. Almost so double the attempt. And with this inside power game they have, you can expect that stat to stay that way all season long. You saw Bobby Crawford, a freshman from Houston, come in from Michigan. Ryan will have another one. And as a team, they're shooting 69% from the foul line this year. Lang 79% yep. on his own. Right. He's had some big games early. A couple of double-doubles. Seven-four Duke. Nice Jackson. Put on the line. That was a two. Jimmy consistently does that. He does it in practice. He does it in the games. It costs him big. Bill takes the open three and buries it. When you're talking about Jackson stepping on that line, he did that last year in the national championship game with 46 seconds to go. Made it, but a foot on the line reduced it to a two. We watched him in shooting practice yesterday, and I'd say out of 65 jumpers that he took in that area, 64 of them were right in that two inches over the line. He just has to get away from that attic. Needed to get going. And Jawan Howard with his first two. You have Cherokee Parks playing right behind him defensively. Okay, full boy got to the hands of Lang and over to Parks for the easy put, put in. Double assist, huh? Yeah. Crawford, big game. Coming off a big game. Started a little slow. A lot expected of him. Howard again. Parks. And it belongs to the Wolverines. We're gonna, we'll see, Jim, that double assist. Boom, Lang. Whoop. Cherokee, it's mine. I've got it. Thank you very much. And hockey, they give you an assist for that. Now, Leon Derricks comes in for Michigan. Ray Jackson out. Marty Clark has come in for the Blue Devils, number three. Crawford. Too strong. Clark went up high for that rebound. We're talking about a very experienced player in Marty Clark coming off that bench. And he's had good games against Michigan. Feeds it to Meek. And push off. Push off, I think, against Howard. Yep. Jim, yep. there's the difference for Howard. You know, last year, he knew that he'd always have Chris Weber on the, on the weak side, so that if a man beat him, it'd be Weber for the block. Now he doesn't have that ability. Line goes out. Kenny Blakeney comes in, 6'4", junior from Washington, D.C., who is really in excellent shape, Billy. 
Number four for the Blue Devils, Blakeney. Started his career with a very difficult knee problems, and as you said, looks like he's running a lot better now. Clark banks it home. I said he's had good games against Michigan. 14-6, Blue Devils. The key right now, again, we talked about the identity factor at the top of the show, is where does Michigan go to? And there is no go-to man yet. Rose trying to hook up with that lob pass inside that we've seen for the last two years, but another turnover. Michigan's made only three out of 13 from the floor. I heard a man say something the other day that Chris Weber has the best hands in the NBA. Well, that's the guy that used to be at the end of those kind of baskets. Right? Thomas launching a long one. And Howard pushes it up the floor to King. King wants to challenge Collins. Well, Derrick picks up the loose cage. Back to King, and he draws the foul. Earlier we saw the lineage for the Duke basketball team. Michigan won the championship back in 89. Six Final Fours, including the last two years. Twelve Big Ten titles. And they are the preseason favorites out of the Big Ten. What do you think of that? They are that, but I think it's a league, Jim, where people could finish anywhere from first to sixth. So, uh, you know, depending how things fall. Very deep lead to quality teams this year. Timmy King had a big game against Duke down in Durham last year. 20 points in that one. Was a leading scorer in that game for Michigan. Game that the Devils won by 11. You could see on that play, Grant Hill wanting to hit ahead, get something started on the break. The top play to Blakeney, who split the defenders but travel. So a dead ball, timeout, 14-7. Blue Devils doubling up the Wolverines early. We started selling automobiles. He sold the Dickens out of them. We're an automobile family. I was one of the, the first 32 retailers of Saturns in the nation. The Saturn way was to not rush somebody. We let the customer walk around and look. Some people were so surprised by that, they'd get in the car and drive off, sometimes mad. How you doing? After we explained it to them, they liked it a lot. I wish my daddy was still around to see this Saturn thing, but I don't know. It's different. There is a sound you'll hear Dice. in the triangle below Canal Street. It's the sound of German being spoken Dice. by those who are moved by the art. In your Dice. town, America, and the world, Bex, the number one imported German beer. Some people get nasal congestion, but if you get sinus congestion, use a sinus spray like Sinex. Only Sinex has a decongestant plus Vicks Vapors, so you can feel your swollen passages open up. For sinus, think Sinex. Radio Shack has blockbuster prices on great gifts for the holiday. Radio Shack has portable CD players that sound great, plus hot prices on scanners that bring you all the action. Radio Shack has cordless phones for talking and small prices on pocket color TVs for watching. Radio Shack's sturdy, lightweight headset radio keeps everyone tuned in. For great gifts at blockbuster prices, hurry to Radio Shack, your Christmas electronics store. The Clinton Plan for Health Care Reform. What does this all mean to you? The CBS Evening News, team to cover your world. I tell you, Billy, these numbers pretty revealing for the season and especially today. Well, they really are, Jim. Michigan, more turnovers and assists on the year coming in, even though they were 4-0. But how about this? Two teams ranked in the top four in the country. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Michigan with a more turnovers and assists, but so is Duke on the year. Duke, 64 assists, 74 turnovers. Certainly not the mark of clubs that belong in the top five. Michigan, three starters on the floor. Rose, Howard, and King, and here's Rose. Short, 
Duke has three subs in right now, joining starters Hill and Meek. Well, it's tough to post up on Grand Hill. Jalen Rose is finding that out. Bounced it right off the rose. Now Jalen did a smart thing there. He actually went out of bounds to force Clark to step out of bounds. Let's see if they pump back into Grant. Collins comes over to make the save. Clark, Clark getting low. And Collins takes the three. Clark steals the rebound. Goes back Man, that'll be a two-shot situation. Duke and Fife and Ray Jackson return. Jim, I think one of the things, the difference between coming off the bench with a veteran that is a quality player like Clark and then coming off the bench with young guys that have not had any experience. We saw it in the Louisville-Kentucky game. Where you bring in a Marty Clark? Hey, he's been here before. He's been in big games, been in Final Fours before. Made those five big free throws against Indiana in the semifinal, so in the Final Four. So he comes in, and all of a sudden, he gives you consistent, solid performance. Two shots for Clark. He is now eight for eight in his career against Michigan from the foul line. And one. Yeah, he had five out of six, Billy, as you mentioned, against the Hoosiers in the final minute and a half in the semifinal game that led Duke to the finals and a victory over Michigan for the championship. Yeah, we talked about Todd Leary last week. That's the first uh, one he's missed. We yeah. talked about Todd Leary last week hitting those threes, but it was countered by yeah. Clark. Clark's uh, foul shots. 15-7, Duke. Looking for a way to score is Michigan. Well, think about it, Billy. We're nine minutes, 15 seconds into this game, and Michigan has seven points. Rose, that's a beautiful drive. Nick Hill was looking around for a little help, too. Well, Jalen did the only thing that you could and should do, and that is take it for the dunk, because... Grant was looking to block in any other kind of layup. There's the double team. Leaving Blakeney open. Steps to the hole. And the charge called on Blakeney. Charging. No basket. They wave off the hoop. Well, you're going to see a great jump stop by Blakeney. Goes up. Nope. He clearly releases yep. that before the contact. Why do they always take that away? Jim, I disagree with that call both ways. Number one, the shot should have counted. Blakely was going up for the shot, and he has the right to come down with his normal movement. So I don't think it should have been a charge. should have been a basket. Oh, Jackson thought Rose was going to cut over. Well, Ray anticipated that Rose was going to come and to the ball, and Rose was anticipating setting a screen. Tony Lang says I'll bring it into the front court. Jalen would like to steal the ball from him here. Clark, Fife stole it, three on one. King, and a foul called on Grant Hill. And what we see is Mike Juszewski up off the bench now because that is the second strip of a shot by a Michigan player. And Grant Hill tried the same defensive technique on Jimmy King, which is to strip the ball while it's in a player's hands on the way up. You see the strip. Good job by Fife on Clark. See the strip on the way up. And that's exactly what Grant Hill tried on the other end. Two for King. Michigan team only shooting 63% on the year, and Jimmy King, the worst of the bunch, at 54%. Made one out of three today. <laughs> ten points in ten minutes plus for the Wolverines. But Jim, if I were the Michigan people, I'd start getting a little confidence right now because they have not figured out a way to score early, and yet they're still right in this game. Only down by five. The faked out Rose, jump shot, oh. too strong. Clark, King has it for Michigan. Michigan getting a little momentum swing here. Five three-pointer. 
push off by Jackson, got away with it. Blocked from behind by Meek. Jeff Capel comes back in, replacing Clark for the Blue Devils. Here you see the second man coming up with the block. You know, Lang standing right there on Jackson, but behind him comes Meek. Commons in, and Grant Hill will get a rest. Rose. Has a nose for the dramatic. And there's that double team from the weak side. Skip pass, Capel, pull up, too strong off the glass. Wolverines, a three would tie it. Skip pass, this could tie it, Rose. You notice that Duke is almost totally void of a fast break offense, Jim. Something that Bobby Hurley set the pace for during his career. And Lang, disappointed that didn't drop, but he'll shoot a couple of free throws. Bow on Jawan Howard is second. It, it, Jim, not only has Jawan Howard been over from a standpoint of being tired, but his Achilles tendon gave him great trouble. He missed the last game. Looks like it's bothering him yep. right now. He's definitely a little gimpy. Trying to walk it off. Was not able to practice but one day for this game. He missed the game against Detroit Mercy. Tough kid. He's asking a lot, though, to go against two big men. And right, you've go. got a sore leg you can't run on. All right, Lang will step in. He's missed his first two free throw attempts. Prayer with it. So, <laughs> he was up there for a long time, yeah. wasn't he? He leaned with that one. Knocks them both down. Duke leads by five. 8.20 to go in the first half. Had a good backdoor cut by Jalen Rose, and to stay with him, Lang had to grab him. So Lang's first, and the fifth against Duke. Two away, two fouls away from a one-and-one. One. King, way off, but Howard in place. Score it, plus one. Excellent positioning on the rebound by Dewan Howard. You'll see, see if Howard, he's got Parks blocked out completely and then goes and puts it right back up strong. Collins reaches in for the foul. Second foul charge to Collins. Oh, he got it. I didn't see. We yeah, didn't have the angle Parks on that little elbow. No wonder Parks didn't stay with him. release on that shot. Nice action with the wrist, but no action with the elbow. Consequently, he shoots a pretty flat yes, shot. Yes, he does, and he has limited range with that shot. Capel. Again, not that. What a, what a follow-up by Cherokee Parks. You could question, Jim, if that ball wasn't in the cylinder. Dumps it underneath. Jackson, big assist by Jawan Howard. And there's a case where even inside, a technical foul on Mike Krzyzewski. This is a bad one on his part. He's talking about the Cherokee Parks deal. The reason it's bad, he loses possession of the ball, going to give up two technical fouls, and now Michigan gets the ball. So two free throws and possession, which could put Michigan in front. Let's see if this ball's in the cylinder. No question about it. Should have been no basket. See, you can't tap that ball in sitting right there in the cylinder. Ooh. 
Capel sure hasn't been basketball so far. You can see right above the basket. Good job by Parks coming down. He got away with one there. Now it's a one-point Duke lead, and Michigan will have the basketball. Timeout on the floor, an official's timeout. Devils by one. When you choose a family car, you put all your eggs in one basket. So, when it came to safety engineering, from standard dual airbags to side impact protection, Mitsubishi did the same thing. Introducing the all-new 1994 Mitsubishi Galant with some of the most comprehensive safety engineering of any car in its class. Lease a new Galant S now for just $500 down and $199 a month. Okay, let's meet a Red Lobster in an hour. Oh, Red Lobster! This holiday season, there's no better place to meet than Red Lobster. For a limited time, enjoy our pound of shrimp dinner with succulent scampi, our big golden fried shrimp, and flame grilled shrimp. A whole pound of shrimp, specially priced. Red Lobster's pound of shrimp dinner. The perfect gift from us to you, and soon. And for your holiday parties, enjoy party platters to go. Happy holidays from Red Lobster. If you can dream it, the Rebel can do it. Now, EOS Rebel from Canon has more power to create images, not just snapshots. Image is everything. EOS Rebel and Rebel S from Canon. So advanced, it's simple. When the camera starts to roll, even one flake of dandruff can ruin it all. That's why I use Head & Shoulders. You know, it's even better than it was just a couple of years ago. Today, it gets to 10 times more of the places dandruff starts. Because great hair can't have flakes. You don't stop playing baseball after 27 years and then just sit around. Over my career, I developed habits that keep me in shape. Regular workouts will always be a part of my life. And when I get sore, I take Advil. It's strong, it works, and I know it helps. And Advil's gentler on my stomach than aspirin. I know if I keep working out, I'll stay in shape. And when I get sore, Advil will keep working for me. Advil, advanced medicine for pain. In Division One Double A. On the field, the championship battle next Saturday on CBS Sports. Jim Nance, Billy Packer, Chrysler Arena, Ann Arbor, Michigan. Three against four. And Michigan on an 11 4 tear to move within one, and they have possession looking for the lead. Number 33, Grant Hill, is replaced Chris Jim, not a wise technical by a coach. When you have possession of the ball, wait for it to come the other way and make the comment. Get your possession out of it. Jackson, that is a three. And only parks underneath for the board. I would think it'd be time to see Grant Hill down inside, making him get a basket in a low post. Parks turn around, and Duke goes back ahead by three. Duke has led the entire way. And Jim, when Duke was effective early on building up that lead, they went down inside. There was a case with Parks. I think it's time to go ahead and get Grant Hill the ball down inside. Fife on the drive, gives it up to Howard. Traveling. Dick Paparo. Calls the violation. From where? Downtown? We talking about a little makeup here? Oh, that I mean that that walk was underneath the basket. He was a trail of fish. Lang. Well, Duke hits a couple of quick baskets. Go back ahead by five. It's a great match up here. How about that? Rose and Hill. Rose leaning in and hold it. The ball oh, against Rose. Now, if you're Steve Fisher, you got to say, wait a second. The man gets a technical foul and picks up two calls like that back to back. I've got to get in the action. And if you're Fisher, you got to start jumping on him. Here is Rose. He goes in. They call that bump on Grand Hill a charge. Rose thinks he's got a basket. And now he goes the other way. If you're fishing, and Steve Fisher's doing the right thing. Thought he had a three-point play. Instead, no basket. 
And now a foul against Michigan. Called on Jimmy King. And not a bad time to go ahead and really hammer the referees if you're Steve Fisher. That's the first on King, but the seventh against the Wolverines. It'll be a one and one for Grant Hill. Yeah, make the challenge. See if they give you a T. Mike Krzyzewski <laughs> certainly got a little workmanship going on that last one, even though it cost his team uh, two technicals, the loss of possession, and Michigan got the ball. One and one. Ooh, boy. Great goal. He's got a lot of rim on that. You know, we talked to Mike yesterday about Grant and that toe problem that he had last year. He had it operated on, missed basically the summer activity this year, but it might have been good for him because Mike said he really needed to get away from basketball for a while. He said he really didn't play much basketball for two and a half, three months. He says, I don't think that's bad, though. Of course, the summer before, Grant had been on the team that really helped prepare the Olympians for Barcelona. This one's going against Meek. Meek on the hold, his first, and that's the seventh against Duke, so it'll be a one and one now for Jawan Howard. We're at Chrysler Arena. They've been uh, standing outside for a couple of days trying to get the prime seat location for this one. Packed house for Duke and Michigan. Certainly one of the great non-conference rivalries in college basketball. So this guy very unusual as a player. Last year, here he's playing center for a very powerful team. Only had 14 shots blocked. And then I'm talking about he blocked 14. And in his career uh, as a shot blocker, uh, he only has 35. Chris Weber alone last year blocked 91. So basically he's a position defensive player. Not going to pick up a lot of fouls. Howard hits them both. 24-20 Duke. Ooh, King smelled that one, but Lang set three underneath. Excellent ball rotation that time by Cherokee Park. Jackson uncontested. No, take it away. Traveling. Beautiful passing by Michigan. Ray Jackson just couldn't get himself under control. Has the complexion changed since that technical? It really has. Uh, you know, Michigan had a chance to take the lead, but Duke now up by six. Hill tried to make it eight. The King skies for the board. King from the free throw line. A lot of pushing from the back by the Michigan players. They're getting a little tired right now. Howard got by with one. Meek. Has the position. Look at Parks. What a rebound. They're playing over the top of Michigan, Jim. You can, I said that Michigan was getting tired on the other end of the floor. You can see it here as well. So Jackson just couldn't get to the spot. That foul called on uh, Rose. And that's the second on Rose. And Leon Derricks comes in. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Steve Fisher beside himself on the sidelines, trying to get the attention of the referees, trying to bring this game back in balance. So Parks looked very strong here, rebounding. You see the 20 rebounds most by a Duke player since Randy Denton back in 1970. 20 rebounds in a game. In fact, the high by a Duke player last year was 13 rebounds in a game and he had 20 against Xavier all-time record for Duke 31 rebounds in a game we will we ever see any more 30 rebound games Rose missing battling yep. good fight and two shot situation going to the line has the foul whistled against Cherokee Parks his second Billy, we're talking about uh, the line. You know, this has uh, really been quite an endurance test because the weather here the last couple of days has really turned frigid. Tuesday at 7.15 in the morning, we hear, they started to line up. Of course, that emulates their opponents down there at uh, Cameron Indoor. They, they know about that, too. Week. That's right. <laughs> That's Kent right. City. 
In fact, you know, Steve Fisher really wanted to try to make this into a Cameron atmosphere. That was something he, he really was trying to come up with two years ago. After a visit down to Duke four years ago. Good cross-court passing. Hill, great drive. Beautiful cross-court passing. Trying to get some weak side defensive help was Michigan, and when you throw it over the top like that, makes for excellent penetration move. And the Blue Devils have their largest lead, nine-point lead. Good step out by Meek. Howard had Meek and Parks around him. Eight for Howard. That was a real smart pull-up by Juwan Howard because I don't think he realized when he made his spin dribble that Parks was there. Boy, Hill slipped, and he got a hand on it that tipped it over to Lang. How about <laughs> that? There. Stick save. Not Man. good passing by Ooh. Duke. Howard and Michigan break oh. opportunity. Meek got down there to get a piece of it, but then gets called for the hole. I think what we're seeing today on the part of Michigan is something that they're going to have to do this year, which is unfortunate in a way for Jalen Rose, and that is have Jalen on the boards. At six foot eight, he is certainly capable, but that takes him away from being able to have the ball in his hands a lot, making the plays. Meek out of the game, and into the game comes a freshman, Greg Newton. You're looking at freshman Bobby Crawford of Michigan, who also will check in. It'll be Crawford for King. But this is a guy right here from Canada. Canadian High School Player of the Year last year, Billy. Very aggressive. Plays with a tremendous amount of intensity. Already a crowd favorite at Cameron. Greg Newton. Interesting recruiting story. You can leave the Canadian, what amounts to high school, after your 12th year. He stayed for his 13th year. And Duke held that scholarship for him an extra year. And certainly that's going to pay off. Comes in as a very mature freshman. You see that Jalen Rose has a patch on his shoulder. He lost his cousin this week who was killed in an accident. Bobby Moore says he'll wear that patch. Pay tribute. Rose hits them both. Michigan has trimmed that nine-point deficit down to five. Oklahoma, the John Hancock Bowl, Christmas Eve on CBS. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Charles, you are a role model. I'm out of here. Bye-bye. Hey, Mike, I got my own shoe. With my own initials on it. Yeah? Well, I have my own shoes with my own name on it. Well, can you do this in your shoe, Mr. I Don't Play Anymore? Yeah, but I don't have to. I'm retired. I'm not, and my shoes got this strap. Laces. Black, white, white's wimpy. And you can't keep it clean. Size 13. 16. Ooh. Thank you. Yeah. Mine's got more. I went ball first. Did not. Did too. Tom O'Keefe is in the grip of a really tough cold. But he's about to break free with an effervescent rush of relief. Alka-Seltzer Plus cold medicine. Pills take time to dissolve, but Alka-Seltzer Plus is ready the moment you take it. Rushing powerful medicines to soothe your aches. Relieve your runny nose. Free your breathing. Nothing rushes relief like Alka-Seltzer Plus. Introducing the all-new 1994 two-door Camry Coupe. Any guesses where we got the idea? The new Toyota Camry Coupe, developed and built in America. The client everybody's after wants to meet us for dinner. Can you be ready in 10 minutes? Morelco introduces the Compact Speed Razor. Why show up at a 7 p.m. meeting with a 7 a.m. shave? The new Norelco Speed Razor. Close and comfortable to go. Skill Flexi Charge Cordless Tools. We interrupt this ad for a special offer. Now, when you buy a Flexi Charge Cordless Screwdriver, you also get a Flexi Charge Flashlight. The Flexi Charge Interchangeable Power System. From Skill. 
Well, coming up at the half, Pat O'Brien and Derek Dickey from our studio in New York. We'll have the latest scores and news and a look at this season's fabulous freshmen. Pat and Derek coming up at halftime. Hey, Jim, I mentioned will we ever see 30, 30 rebounds again. I mentioned that Bernie Janicki. He was a great athlete, do I think. I mentioned that Bernie Janicki. He was a great athlete, do I think. You know, the same kind of things. Finding that, 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 that strength and maturity and experience are, make up for a lot of other things. But he, he's an unbelievable talent. What's unbelievable is that Carolina has Wallace and Stackhouse. As for the twin towers of this class, we go from Rashid to Richard of Wisconsin. He's going to be real good. I'm impressed, and I think if, if he continues in the role he's in, uh, you know, that looking for the little dump-offs, being there to help defensively, grabbing strong rebounds, and making free throws. Um, what a wonderful freshman. Most coaches want a shooter. Number one Arkansas has a tank. Darnell Robinson. And the big gun for UCLA is Charles O'Bannon, who teams with his older brother, Ed. And some others to keep an eye on, Avondre Jones of Southern Cal, Joe Smith of Maryland, averaging 23 points a game, Jacques Vaughn of Kansas, and Marcus Camby of UMass, who's expected back from a knee injury. Well, that's a good group of uh, kids. They seem bigger, stronger, faster this year. Well, this has to be one of the best classes that I've seen in some time because there's so many good athletes here, guys that can come in and make an immediate impact and play right away. All right, Double D, basketball is not the only winter sport. There are 63 condom days until the torch is lit in Lillehammer for the 17th Olympic Winter Games, beginning with a huge comeback win today for New Jersey's own Donna Weinbrecht, taking first place in a weather-shortened Women's World Cup Moguls event in Teen France. Weinbrecht won the 1992 Olympic gold medal in freestyle moguls competition, but ruptured a ligament in her left knee last November, spending much of the past year in extensive rehab. And a fine showing for Americans Wendell Suko and Duncan Kennedy at the World Cup Luge competition today at Eagles Austria, finishing second and third. Now, it's the first time the U.S. has ever placed two Lugers in the top three at a European World Cup event. The U.S. has never won an Olympic medal in Luge, and that could change in Lillehammer. One NFL game in action down at RFK Stadium now, three to nothing in the third quarter, the Jets and Washington Redskins. We've got NFL action coming your way after Duke and Michigan here on CBS. At 3.30 Eastern time, Greg Gumbel, Terry Bradshaw will slide in here for the NFL today. They've got a touching father and son look at Harris Barton of the 49ers and his dad. Then San Francisco takes on Atlanta in a shootout at the Georgia Dome. Both teams have plenty of offensive firepower. Atlanta's Bobby Bear tossed three touchdowns against the Niners back in September. But speaking of breathless play, Steve Young was unstoppable, so this one figures to be a high-scoring affair. Whenever we play each other, for some reason, there's no punting. Both offenses move the football. I mean, it doesn't matter what their record is and what uh, it's going to go down to who has the ball last. You get the last shot in the hoop and if your last shot goes in you probably win they got a lot of gadget plays where they can hurt you and you're get you off balance this side and just score on you uh, suddenly uh, they're going it's going to be a battle should be a good uh, matchup this afternoon san francisco of course one of the hottest teams in the nfl back to basketball our halftime score duke and michigan 36 to 32 what does michigan have to do to stay in this game no question about it jalen rose has to take over this basketball game he's playing at home they can't seem to pull away duke went on a 10 to 2 run to end the half michigan has to come out with more intensity do they seem not focused on the game the crowd seems to be into it well as big as this game is you cannot not be focused but i just think that jalen rose is the man and the key for this victory all right derek you're the man this afternoon thanks for joining us jim nance and billy packer are getting set to go back to work in ann arbor and we'll rejoin them right after these messages i'm pat o'brien thanks for watching at the half enjoy the second half and the rest of this great day right here on cbs One, two, three, four, or your travel agent. Your best bet is a best western. The new Accord EX Coupe. There's more horsepower. Handling and comfort are perfectly balanced. It has dual airbags and anti-lock brakes. We've taken it about as far as you can go. 
the new Accord EX Coupe. From Honda. From Hollywood Pictures. I want your blood. The Clanton gang figured they owned the town. But they never figured on Wyatt Earp and Doc Holliday. Maybe you better swear me in. Together, they brought justice to the West. You tell them I'm coming! And hell's coming with me! Tombstone, rated R. Starts Saturday, December 25th. When I decided to fix my porch myself, I couldn't quite believe it. So, who comes to the rescue? Well, handy he's not. And since when did you get all this energy? Ever since you got me started on breakfast with grape nuts. It's like you said, this box is full of great mornings. Well, look, it's right here. Fat-free, natural energy source. I said try it a few mornings. And I did. And it does help keep me going. You know, Dad, I think I have inherited your handiness. Yeah, I think you've inherited my toolkit. That's what he's got. Post Grape Nut Cereal helps keep you going strong all morning long. Hey, Remington, shave this. Remington introduces the Triple Foil, the only shaver with three narrow microscreens for hard-to-shave places on hard-to-shave faces. The Remington Triple Foil. If you can grow it, we can shave it. Next on CBS, the Falcons. Trash-talking, high-stepping rabble-rousers. Face the Niners on a six-game winning streak. No need to talk trash. We're big fans. Tribute to this distinguished graduate. Back alumnus. live at Chrysler now Arena, Cassie Russell. His jersey retired today. The first the in Michigan history to have his number retired. By officially retiring his number 33 basketball jersey. And by wishing him the very best. They call this the house that Cassie built. Chrysler Arena, 27-point career average, three-time All-America, the first player selected in the 66 draft by the New York Knicks. Went to two Final Four appearances, had two Final Four appearances. Gave a wonderful speech here before the sold-out crowd at the house that Cassie built. He was a great one. We'll continue our coverage after this message and a word from your local station. Everybody hates to eat and run. We'd rather take it slow. But the way this life is going, gotta grab your food and go. And when all that running around catches up with you at last, get yourself some alka seltzer and you'll feel better. For acid indigestion or heartburn with headache, nothing's faster or more effective than Alka-Seltzer. Get yourself some Alka-Seltzer and you'll feel better fast. There's a lot about the new Gallant that you may not know. Like being first in its class with dual airbags, standard. In fact, after Automobile Magazine scrutinized the all-new Gallant, it said it may be the most car per dollar in its class. A class, we might add, that includes Accord and Camry. The all-new 1994 Mitsubishi Gallant. Lease a new Gallant S now for just $500 down and $199 a month. This is CBS. Now there's a new term for executive privileges. Because you can lease the all-new Cadillac DeVille for a single upfront payment of $11,972. For 24 months, that's a savings of $1,484 over Cadillac's already low lease payments. See your Cadillac dealer soon. With terms like these, America's most spacious front-drive sedan can give you even more room to maneuver. Cadillac DeVille, creating a higher standard. At Big Five, we love the sounds of Christmas. Now listen for special holiday values in every store. Like this Mizuno Little League glove, a full-grain leather beauty, big league quality at a lowball price of $24.99. The Brooks Eldorado running shoe with HydroFlow technology has snug fit spandex inside, only $64.99. The BMI Helix Series 1 home gym, two-station, 150-pound weight, a value at $499.99.
At Big Five Sporting Goods, you'll love the sounds of Christmas and the savings. Question, you've got about six bucks and you're real hungry. Do you go to place A and get 15, 39 cent burgers? Or place B and get 20, 29 cent tacos? Or C, El Pollo Loco and get eight pieces of flame broiled chicken for $5.99? We'll give you a few moments to decide. Well? El Pollo Loco. Go back to what's real. Again, choice C is eight pieces of flame broiled chicken for only $5.99. One man, one bike, renegade. Tonight at 7 on 2. CBS Sports coverage of the Road to the Final Four is sponsored by Alka-Seltzer. For the way you live today, you'll feel better fast with Alka-Seltzer. Mitsubishi, the new thinking in automobiles. And by Compact Computer Corporation. Well, I'll say it again, the house that Cassie built. Duke leading by four as Parks and Hill have 11 points, five rebounds each. And Cassie, congratulations. What was the feeling for you here at halftime to see that jersey raised and retired? Well, just a great feeling. Uh, you look back over the years that uh, you had an opportunity to play college at this level, uh, that the university would bestow such an honor on me. Uh, really makes me feel like I've been blessed and that I made the right decision many years ago. Well, you're coaching now. Yes, sir. I'm coaching in the uh, Continental Basketball Association in Columbus, Ohio, uh, for the Columbus Horizon, and it seems only fitting because uh, it gives me a chance to give something back to the game that's been so great for me. Well, as a coach, what did you think of the first half, and what must be done in the second half for your Michigan Wolverines? Well, again, I think, uh, of course, Michigan uh, has to push the ball up the floor, I think, a little bit more to get some open shots. Uh, and I think, uh, of course, on the offensive glass, you've got to keep those guys off the board. I didn't realize Duke was, was that big. They have big size. Yes, sir. Cassie, I've studied all of your basketball, but today was the first time I ever heard that you're the man that gave the commencement address your senior year. I mean, you did everything else at Michigan. How in the world did that happen? Well, it happened. Uh, I've been working uh, to, toward my degree, uh, and they asked me if I would come back and give the commencement exercise, and I finished all of my hours. So I decided I would give it. Uh, I needed a new challenge, and there it was. That's some challenge. And one other thing I want to ask you, there's certain guys, Cassie, that can transcend the years. You were one of the few players that you can think about your playing in college still being able to do it today. Not many, are there? No, I think uh, you, sometimes you take for granted. I mean, these kids are so talented nowadays. Uh, when I came up, we had to work every summer. We worked to, to put a new wrinkle in the game. Yeah. Uh, these kids are just so talented nowadays. They jump and run. Uh, I don't know what we could have done had we been able to do some of this talent. Well, I know one that could have been there, and that'd have been you. Well, thank congratulations. you. Yes, congratulations. Congratulations. Great to visit with you. Thank, thank you. you. Coming by. Cassie Russell. And the second half gets underway with Michigan and Dugan Fife trailing by four. Jim, big stat to me in this first half is Michigan out-rebounded Duke. We saw early on in the game, it looked like Duke was going to totally overpower him inside. Meek pulls this one down. The 21-19 advantage on the glass for the Wolverines in the first half. And for Duke, I really thought it was a lack of consistency in their half-court offense. Just exactly what are they trying to do? It's hard to determine. Capel. Good drive, but off the mark. He's had a lot of good looks at the basket. He just hasn't had anything to fall. Jackson. And there's Hill pulling down his sixth rebound. And you can see how Grant wants to throw the long pass, but Duke just doesn't break out of there. You're so used to seeing them during their early years. Meek. Two players around him and one. The power move. Now we're looking at a young man right here. We talked about his improvement in between seasons, but a young man who, due to that automobile accident, almost didn't get an opportunity to play college ball at all. Now he's going to become a major factor on a high-quality team. Fife on the foul. His second. You know, we saw Cassie a moment ago led Michigan to two Final Fours. Team he played in the first Final Four? Duke University. Duke beat him. Yep. The next year, they get knocked off by UCLA. That was a Duke team with 
Mullen and Heyman, two players who have had their jerseys retired. So three-point play opens up seven-point lead for Duke. Howard lost control of it, but Fife got it back. Ten on the shot clock, and Howard tipped out by King to save it. Howard's second oh, try, yes. Give Jimmy King some credit for that, though. Tipped it back to the center, the big center, to keep it alive. And Michigan's first points of the second half. Stolen by King. That got a four on two. Oh, oh what a hill called on the block. <laughs> he almost made a brilliant theft. That had been something because it was a four on one break. You can see here, there's Grant Hill having problems in that point position. And here we see they're breaking out of there and almost a sensational play. I didn't see the foul on that one at all. Bill second. Rose, three-pointer. We had the angle. We could see that was a misfire from the get-go. You notice it was, Jim. He glided instead of going straight up and down with the shot, and the ball glided as well. Ooh, Capel. No one in the area. And Duke having a real distribution problem. And again, we talk about, and hate to keep bringing it up, but when you had Hurley, the ball was in his hands, and you knew you could get your offense started. If this was football, that would be intentional grounding. <laughs> Five. And that was off the foot of Capel. I like the look of Capel, though. Yep. I really, for a freshman, getting a second start is going to be a valuable asset to this team. Well, he could have had, actually, a big day today. He's had good shots, good drives to the basket. Rose, this time, gets it. A two-pointer. 14 for Rose. You know, and everybody talked about Grant Hill being a point guard. He filled in for Bobby Hurley for the five games Hurley was out back in 92. But Mike Krzyzewski be the first to admit he is not a point guard. Lang showing an outside jumper. Eight points for Antonio. Nice. Yeah. Good move, except the shot a little too soft. Here comes Capel on the break. Spin move off the glass. Didn't have it in his hand, Jim. It, yeah. it, you know, he bobbled it and still tried to go up for the shot. Actually shot it, shot it off the top. But another good look at the basket. <laughs> Giving up the shot on the outside. But Jackson has got to look to take that one. Rose. Leap and leaner. And he'll go to the line for a couple. They get uh, Antonio Lang with the body. That's his second. You know, in the uh, current AP polls, six teams from the Big Ten, four from the ACC. Two from the Big East. UConn looking strong early. And how about Boston College earlier this week knocking off Syracuse at the Carrier Dome? But Jimmy, you talk about these two conferences of the quality players that move on to the next level, the NBA. The ACC has 57 presently in the NBA. The SEC and the Big Ten are second with 38. Wow. So you start talking about the quality that's come out of these two leagues. One more for Rose. You talk about NBA players, and there have been a bunch that have come out of Duke. Do you know the last player from Duke to play in an NBA All-Star game? How about Jack Merrin? Jack Marin, 1973. How about that? 20 years. Well, you know, I just well done, <laughs> Professor. I know, but you know, that, that one I w didn't seem that hard. But I'll tell you one I just messed up on, and I'm thinking about it in my own mind. I said Jeff Mullins had his jersey retired. I would have assumed so. He was one of the greatest of all time at Duke. But he is not one of the seven. Well, you know, Mullins got a cup. Mullins and Marin are the only two Duke players to ever play in an NBA All-Star game. And it's been 20 years since the school had them. That could be changing very soon, though. I would think so. Lang, wide open baseliner, his second jumper of this half. Boy, does that look a lot more positive than the jump shots he's taken in the past. 
off balance. And Rose loves that shot. That floating one-hander. Michigan staying right with them. Here's where the crowd starts to become a factor. First road game for Duke. Michigan got within one at 19-18. Here's Meek. And let's see here. A little jaw. And they're going to call it on Howard. We just saw both in Lang's jump shooting the last two times down the floor and Meek's aggressive move to the basket. But these two players have really improved offensively in the last year. May have been a little jawing because Meek had the left arm uh, working a little bit yep. too, pushing off. And he's a wide body jump. He'll shoot a couple. Now we're seeing a lot of trash talking out there now. Howard goes right up to him on the line. Remember before last year's encounter, December at Cameron, Michigan came in number one, and there was a lot of talk going into that one. Michigan was guaranteeing a victory. Didn't happen, though. Duke, six out of 11 from the line. Seven for 12. And we'll take a television timeout. Duke's lead is four, just as it was at halftime. can't do that. <laughs> Please, don't pull that on me now. I'm pressing enter. You're the computer. You tell me where the file is. Huh? Don't just sit there blinking. Enter. I'm gonna give this to you, but I want it back. The idea of talking to a computer is certainly not a new one. Open status report. Getting a response certainly is. The new Desk Pro with Business Audio from Compaq. Man, when I get a cold, it's a killer cold. I'm not taking a four-hour pill like Actifed. For Sudafed, it wears off too quick. I take contact. Man, I'm out there all day. Need something that works 12 hours, and contact works 12 hours. It relieves the congestion in your head. You know, your ruddy nose. The four-hour medication, take it in the morning. Get to work, it's gone. Take a contact, and it'll take you through the whole day. One contact gives you 12 hours of time-released relief. No work, no pay. Contact helps turn sick days into work days. There's almost as many kinds of cars as kinds of people. And when those cars need batteries, those people come to Sears, America's number one battery store. We carry a full line of batteries for every vehicle and every budget. From our Sears 45, guaranteed for nearly four years for $29.99, to the Die Hard with three emergency jump starts. One battery isn't going to work for everybody, so we make sure we have the one that works for you. Sears Tire and Auto Center. We're driven to satisfy. Images can change, just like that, with the Rebel in each and every EOS lens from Canon. Image is everything. EOS Rebel and Rebel S from Canon, so advanced it's simple. Behold, a legendary holiday feast for four. A plump Colonel's rotisserie gold chicken, two large side dishes, and four cornbread muffins or biscuits, all only $10.99, only at KFC. 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 Happy holidays. This week, Dave welcomes Robert Duvall, Sally Field, Larry King, Marissa Tomei, Luciano Pavarotti, Tom Hanks, and Harry Connick Jr. This week. All-time winning as coaches in the tournament, Steve Fisher, 17-3. and three. You see Ed Jucker up there, of course, uh, won two national championships at Cincinnati. Steve Fisher, in his first three years, made the Final Four three times in the first five years. Only two guys have done that. Fred Taylor at Ohio State, Harry Combs of Illinois. Rose over Hill, that one, and now 20 points for Rose. And he has been doing it on Grant Hill, who last year was selected as college basketball's number one defender. Parks. Turn around and a soft touch. Parks and Lang carrying the load with the jumpers. 13 for Cherokee. And lob it inside to Howard. That was another great assist by Leon Derricks, and Jawan Howard loves that lob pass. Well, Jim, he's got the great size to be able to get the right angle on that lob pass, and Howard did a good job boxing out. 
Well, Rose knocks it away. Meek was about to set up Hill for an open jumper. Well, any time that the ball goes in the low post, Michigan is coming from the weak side for the double team on the low post park. So that swing pass is going to be available. Double team. Michigan really packing back inside now. Look for Collins open for a three. Two seconds on the shot clock, and Hill drains it. 13 for Grant Hill. He said Howard's a workhorse, smart player. He's been able to stay out of the foul trouble, play the whole way, and been played by three different people today. Howard, tough pass, going for Rose and off his fingertips. Rose and Howard have scored 26 of Michigan's last 28 points. Marty Clark back in, meet six. Jim, I really think that, that Duke can go inside, spot up Collins for a three on the outside if they get Parks down in low. Crawford's hounding him pretty good with the dribble. There he is opposite. Same shot he had earlier. Parks again. Oh, he looks good, doesn't he? It looks really improved. Not that he had a poor year at all last year, but Cherokee is really coming on strong. Here's Howard. Ball comes back out to Bobby Crawford. Howard lays it in. Beautiful dish by Jimmy King. 50 to 46, Duke. Clark, great drive. Wolverines kept waiting for everybody else to pick him up, but he just drove in and put it in. Again, we talk about that senior maturity. They're going right down inside. Look like they want to wear Cherokee Parks out. You know, we came into this game talking about the Hill-Rose matchup, but this Howard-Parks matchup is actually turning out to be just as intriguing. Now, Jim, they're, they're almost at the midway point of this half. You can see Juwan bending over. Now, this guy is a tough competitor, but you have to figure that fatigue's got to set in a little bit. And he's had to play against Meeks, Parks, and Newton. Twelve minutes left. Duke by four. Still waiting for the pass to Collins for the jumper. Three-pointer. Perfect. And Duke has hit its last six shots. But still can't pull away. That was a three-pointer by Hill. His second of the day. Rose. He's seeing some, some players now. What Jalen is doing is saying, hey, we're on the playground. Come take me. And if you're going to allow him to dribble like that, you've got to double-team him a little bit, put some pressure on him. Lang went up for the dunk. Parks finishes it. De Derek's not quite strong enough to stop Lang. Parks has made eight out of nine from the floor. Doubles by seven. Duke putting Lang on Rose. What a plain little zone here. A little matchup zone. Hill gets the steal. They tried to bounce pass it over to Howard. Clark, open wow. three, and a long rebound comes to Parks. Behind the back to save it to Collins. He takes it out for a three, and Duke leads by ten. Well, I was calling for him to take a three-point shot. He had to get it on a deflected rebound. And now that's the first ten-point lead of the game, largest lead. Duke in a 1-2-2 zone, matching up out of it. Crawford didn't recognize it last time down. Grand Hill calling the defenses. They ought to send a cutter through to see if they're in zone or man-to-man. -man. It's a matchup zone. Rose. And Collins with the board. Ten minutes to go. Ten-point Duke lead. Duke sets in a double low stack. Hill. Boy, right off the dribble. Yep. Looked good from here along, and the rebound comes to Michigan. 
Jimmy King in the lob, not there. Oh, and a good save by Crawford, but Parks is there. Duke had the numbers, but didn't look for the ball up court. Down 10, probably not a smart play by Jimmy King. You know, you, you've got to get the good basket. Touched by Derrick. Timeout on the floor. Devils by 10. Boston College battles Virginia. The Carquest Bowl, New Year's Day on CBS. Are your kids wishing for something exciting? Radio Shack has it with action-packed radio-controlled cars. Kids control rough terrain with our Force One Rally. The new off-road Tiger lets them handle hills and straightaways. The Scorpion Track Racer is hard to beat, and the Flamethrower is really hot. Now all you have to control is their excitement. For a great selection of this year's hot gifts, check out Radio Shack, your Christmas electronics store. When most manufacturers develop a new truck, they start with a model. Good idea. Here's ours. Introducing the first and only family of trucks designed from the inside out. A design that starts with you and has become the all-new Chevy S-Series. Everything else is history. There is a sound you can hear on the new Riviera. It's the sound of German being spoken by those who converge on Ocean Drive. In your town, America, and the world. Bex, the number one imported German beer. Geronimo thunders across the big screen like a herd of wild horses. Jason Patrick, Robert Duvall, Gene Hackman, and Wes Studi as Geronimo. Rated PG-13 at theaters now. And now a word from our sponsor. Dreams come true in my new shoe. That's not what I want to say. Rewind. Wow, it's Charles Barkley. And his new shoe. This is my new shoe. It's a good shoe. Won't make you dunk like me. Won't make you rich like me. Dang. Won't make you rebound like me. Definitely won't make you handsome like me. Good. It'll only make you have shoes like me. Period. Now that's what I want to say. Well, just when the Wolverines climbed within two, the Blue Devils have gone on a 14-6 run. Billy, uh, the game summary. Well, I think what's happened, and you look at that shooting percentage, Duke has gotten into some kind of little half-court rhythm here, Jim, uh, in the last couple of minutes. Uh, excellent shooting, popping the ball inside, and then hitting back outside. And a couple of mistakes by Michigan when they got the ball. They can't try to come back too quickly against a Duke club. Duke has possession with the double-digit lead, and off the glass, it's now a 12-point advantage. Calvin Hill enjoying. That's where Grant Hill is so tough, 15 feet on in. Not that he can't play outside, but he's so effective in there, you've got to use him. Because Collins has bulked up a lot, Jim, hasn't he, since uh, last year? He's gotten much yeah. stronger. <laughs> Howard, in and out, Meek. Nobody there to follow up on the shot. So a 16-6 run. Jackson went for the steal. Freeing Clark, three-pointer short. Cherokee Parks laboring a little bit now. Let's see if they go inside to Juwan Howard. Notice how Michigan keeps an open middle this year. Last year, obviously, they always had somebody down in that low post with Weber and Howard in that tandem. Shot clock a factor. The home crowd helping out Rose. Ooh, he tried to make a pass very late in that possession. So the shot clock violation turns it over to Duke. Well, that was just excellent defense by Grant Hill. He also knew that the clock was winding down, so he stays right with Jalen here. Bumped him a little bit. Might have been a foul. Jalen really couldn't release it up to the basket. You can't fault Jalen's competitive nature in this game, however. On both ends of the floor. 
Olivier St. John is in the game for Michigan. Freshman from Versailles, France. Bart left open again. Long rebound off the three, and good save by Hill at the midcourt strike. As quick as a cat. Traveled about 15 feet with anticipation to pick that one off. You know, that normally be in the backcourt. Again, looking a little 1 4 here. Jackson, no slouch on defense. Lousy rule, isn't it, Jim? St. John almost stole it. Duke has to beat the shot clock, but they got a foul first. Foul on Jackson. Uh, Jackson doing a good job. And, and then picking up a foul just when Michigan almost turned it over on Duke. The third on Jackson. That's a timeout on the floor. Under eight minutes, 7.09 to go in CBS Sports coverage of NCAA basketball. We'll continue after this message from your local station. Hmm. I wonder what the warranty covers. How does PRISM's 24-hour roadside assistance work anyway? Can I get anti-lock brakes? Are the dual airbags really standard? Before you buy a new car, you have a lot of questions. Call 1-800-GET-TO-KNOW and get to know all the answers about the new Geo Prism. How about if I just take this one? When the season's hottest toy is sold out, how desperate will they get? How do you sleep at night stealing from orphans? I'm an orphan. And out Rachel Stage World Monday. This is CBS. The Standard, an automobile seat that may transfer bumps from the road and aggravate your back. The higher standard in the all-new Cadillac DeVille is new suspension seating, which acts like a shock absorber for the driver's back, isolating you from bumps to help reduce back pressure and increase circulation, which should leave you more refreshed mile after mile. Suspension seating in the new V8-powered DeVille by Cadillac. Creating a higher standard. It's great being a snowman. Because no one gets wise to you. Yo, nice boots. I love giving people holiday surprises. But for a really good surprise, get the Merry Money Scratcher Pack from the California Lottery. You'll get a totally unexpected bonus play worth up to $2 million. Just look for my picture. <laughs> of course, this job has certain occupational hazards. Scram, pooch, get out of here. Don't look at me that way. Star Search, tonight at 6 on Channel 2. CBS Sports coverage of the Road to the Final Four is sponsored by Geo, inviting you to get to know the new Geo Prism, available only at your Chevrolet Geo dealers. Transamerica, for life insurance and financial services, the power of the pyramid is working for you. And by Canon, a world leader in office equipment. Duke leading by 12. You've had a look in person now at Michigan without Weber for the first time. And what do you think? How far can the Wolverines go? Well, Jim, I, I think that uh, they obviously are not anywhere near the kind of club that they would have been with them. I mean, that, that goes without saying. But I think they got real problems, not only with Weber, losing Weber, but the four seniors they lost, all that balance and the maturity that, that they had. Great depth they had. Yeah. I, I'll tell you something. Ten guys have left early in their careers and scored over 20,000 points in the NBA. But the team that they left never got to the final four. So if you think Weber's going to have one of those kind of careers, it doesn't spell so well if that's the way history is worked. Well, they obviously missed Weber on the floor, but his leadership, too. Although Mitch Album in his new book, The Fab Five, excellent book, talks about how Jalen Rose has always been the leader of this team. Well, he has been again here today. A lot of strong personalities on that, what was the Fab Five. Great man to man. Mark's back in, looking for his opportunity on Howard. Actually, with a few low post players now. Collins pull up jumper. Beautiful Get a couple move. of big shots in this half, Billy, including a three pointer. That one stems the lead to 14, largest lead of the day. Like his dad, a scorer's mentality. His dad's here, too, drove up from Chicago last night. 
after Chris's sister had a high school basketball game. Family drove up for our drive. Nice and make. Oh. Here's Rose. How wide open. Beautiful fake. And you, you, you know, not only did he take Hill on that move, but he mesmerized the two Duke big men who didn't come over to block. Six minutes to go. 12 point lead, 64-52. Looking for Duke to go down inside the parks. Collins trying to feed Meek. And Lang with the right hand. Excellent defense by Juwan Howard. Rose coming down the middle. And they call it on Rose the second time today. He's been called for the charge. And Jalen saying, hey, wait a second. I might have run into him, but he grabbed my arm first. Let's see the play. There's what he's talking about. He got hit without question. He gets fouled on the arm. You'll see it here. There's the foul on the arm and then the body contact. That's the third on Rose. And some inconsistencies out here today. And now Duke's starting to spread it a little bit. Open offense. Looking to use some clock every time down the court. Collins' three-pointer. And a whistle underneath. Point against Duke. I think it's Lang pushing Jalen Rose from behind. It is indeed. His third. NFL Today will follow us at 3.30 Eastern time. Touching story about the 49ers Harris Barton back home in Atlanta today visiting with his dad and that'll be followed by the 49ers and Falcons and timeout called by Michigan Michigan uses the timeout with 510 remaining before you thought to dream Cannon had a vision before you have a problem, Canon has the solution. We have a way of looking ahead to give your office unlimited possibilities right now. When the rest say you can't, Canon says you can. Canon. Now you can. would you expect from the country that invented rock and roll? By the year 2010, experts predict a college education will cost over $200,000. Millions of Americans will require nursing home care, and Social Security benefits will cover less than half of most retired couples' needs. If thoughts like these are keeping you up at night, you'll be comforted to know you're not alone. Hi, everyone. I'm Greg Gumbel in New York. On our way back to Chrysler Arena, a reminder, coming up at 3.30 Eastern, it's the NFL Today. We'll have the touching story of 49er Harris Barton at home hey, to Bob. visit his ailing father. Hey, Dad. Hey, baby. The dog's just going crazy here. Yeah. What's happening? Boy, yeah, they're wonderful. What's your shirt? Thanks. Look, Hey, and Terry sits down with high-flying Falcons quarterback Bobby A. Bear. That's the NFL Today at 3.30 Eastern. And now, back to the game. Well, here's a couple of guys who watch a lot of television, Billy. They're well, going to promo school. Well, Jim, the guy on the right, and one of two things, okay, either a very smart journalism major, <laughs> his father works for Chevrolet, and he wants a blazer for Christmas. What do you think? <laughs> look at, look no, at that. No, no. He's all over it, isn't he? Let's get him to hook him horns, too. <laughs> Near the conclusion of this game, we will indeed select the Chevrolet player of the game from each team. Chevrolet donates a $1,000 scholarship. Important now for Michigan to get some points quick and get him in the, get the ball in the hands of Jalen Rose and Juwan Howard. Walker Michigan takes the ball from the outside. Walker three-pointer and Lang secures it. 
both teams missing a key ingredient to make them as good as they've been the last couple of years. And there's a little lack of experience. Michigan today, 0 for 7 from three-point land. Here's Crawford on the steal. Lank and block. Crawford lays it in. Cuts it to 10. Collins doubled up. Capel stolen away by Jackson. And Rose. Michael Gopher. Timeout. And you got it. Timeout called by Duke. Back-to-back -back breakaways, and don't give up on the Wolverines. They've cut it to eight. Okay, guys. Hey, Kristen, do you remember where we parked the van? There's only one minivan with a remote control sliding door, built-in child seats, anti-lock brakes, and driver's side airbag. Chevy Luna takes good care of your family. It even has composite body panels to take care of itself. Lumina. It looks different because it is different. What's he doing? Better humor him. Okay, I'm here to show you the new Panasonic Palm Quarter camcorder with digital image stabilizer. I think I'm gonna be sick. It helps hold the picture steady even when your hand shakes this much. And palm quarter tapes can play in any VHS recorder. So why buy a camcorder whose tapes can't play in your VCR? I don't know. The choice is obvious. The Panasonic Palm Quarter. Its tapes will play in your VCR. My dander's really bad. The itch drives me crazy. I'll try anything. The Denerex side feels different. It has a clean, tingling feeling. Nothing with head and shoulders. Both Denerex and head and shoulders have effective dandruff medicine. But Denerex goes a step further with something extra that tingles to give your scalp a fresh, invigorating feeling. That tingle is why I started using Denerex. Try Denerex with conditioners, the serious dandruff shampoo. No more flakes, no more itch. My dandruff's history. She says she left her lights on all day. Who gives you free emergency service if your battery ever needs a jump start? You're all set now. The Die Hard. Only at Sears. We're driven to satisfy. Goes to the mat to stop a killer. You ready for tonight, huh? I'm always ready. But all bets are off. Kill him. All you walker tonight. After the Blue Devil timeout, each team has utilized one now in the second half. They have two remaining. Michigan commits two more fouls. That'll put Duke in the one and one. The arrow belongs to the Blue Devils. The Wolverines have got it under 10. For the first time since the 11-17 mark in a seven-minute stretch, Duke led by double figures. Nobody open. And there's a timeout called by Hill. Had to use it. That leaves the Blue Devils with one. Boy, this place got worked up. Well, Jim, one of the things that Michigan did, they had, obviously, because Duke had all five guys inside the top of the key, Michigan put everybody packed in there as well. So there was no room for passing lanes. get these great scenes in certain arenas, there's nothing like a heated rivalry in college basketball. Well, Jim, a little bit of strategy here for Duke. 
you know that Michigan's trying to prevent the inbounds pass. You got an eight point lead, 420 to go. Not a bad time to set a back screen and go long to try to get an easy basket to break both your opponent and the crowd. So let's see if Duke takes the conservative route or goes for the bomb. They've really spread things out a lot differently than the last setup. Now they let Clark bring it in. The Hill doubled up. And, and stolen by King. That's eight unanswered now by Michigan. Jim, I think they've got to go long and get the ball on the other side of half court. That was a dangerous pass. Almost another steal. Hill to Lang. And Clark goes up with it, drawing the foul on Crawford. Jim, what happens in a situation like this? You compress the court into just a half-court situation, and Duke allowed themselves to be compressed. There is so much open territory if you go long with the pass. Clark will shoot two free throws. One out of two at the line today. at a seven-point advantage, 65-58. Jalen looking right in Hill's eyes, saying, like, I'm coming at you. 340 remaining. Crawford driving on Collins, and outside they're going to take Collins with a hand check. And for Collins, his first. Oh, that's the... Uh, third on Collins, and for the team foul, is the fourth against Duke. So three more before Michigan goes into a one-on-one. -on -one. And Clark and Duke take it away. Big change for Duke right there to get a change of possession. That's why I don't like the five-second call. If there's good defense, and you get penalized for playing good game. Crawford steals it. Four on two. Rose pull up jumper. And he has matched his season high of 28. Oh, Howard reached in and got a piece of Parks. That's the fourth on Jawan. And that's number seven on Michigan. So one and one now. And Jim, let's go back as we did at the top of the show, talking about the two changes in these clubs. Did you ever see anybody press Duke when Bobby Hurley had the ball in his hand? Well, I was about to ask you. We talked about Michigan without Weber. How about Duke? What you've seen now without Hurley, the all-time assist leader. Well, obviously, this is an area which Mike Krzyzewski is going to have to work on. It's probably going to take him until mid-February to figure out who is going to be the ball handling guy and how they're going to work again it because until they get that done they are really susceptible to quickness and the press. Parks got them both. 255 remaining. 67-60. Blue Devils. Fouls with a formula for their success last year. They were 21 out of 25. Lang. Oh, they call it a Lang. <laughs> His fourth and the fifth against Duke. He'll bring it out on the sideline. Reminds you a little bit of the situation that Michigan had with North Carolina last year in the final game. They couldn't get into the free throws. You remember that? Yeah, there were only like three or four yeah. team fouls. Jalen hiding down under the stack, wanting to pop out. Jalen. Blocked by Lang. 
That was a sensational play. Crawford right back, mixing it up. Clark saves it in the corner. Crawford reaching in. And Duke basketball. Well, Crawford's made some real defensive gems here lately. Well, Crawford looks like he's the guy that's got to be five. Here's we talked about that Lang block. Jalen made a great move and just a sensational defensive play. But, you know, look, if Crawford plays for Michigan, look at how small they are. So it's a, you know, a tough situation. Duke with possession and a seven-point lead. Nobody coming to meet the ball. Now, 10 on the shot clock. Howard with four fouls gets the steal. King ahead to Howard. Pull up Jay. Dipped up. Punch. Huge rebound. Well, right back to Jackson. What a pass to Howard. Oh, hell of a Jackson. block. Unbelievable plays we're seeing here. And the foul called on Ray Jackson. Boy, a great save first by Jackson. A no look pass to Howard. You thought it would be an easy lay in, but Hill swats it away. And Jim, even before that, the tremendous rebound by Parks. What Duke is allowing them to do is to get into a frenetic game right here. They need to pull the ball back out, spread Michigan a little bit, and give Michigan a lot of credit for the fighting comeback. That's the fourth on Jackson, a one and one for Hill. Lang on the floor. Michigan basketball. Lang has four. Howard and Jackson, four fouls. For the Wolverines. Now, last year, as I mentioned, the game in Durham, Duke made 21 of 25 free throws. They're not hitting them down today in the clutch. And a little zone. And take away the penetration. Rose, long range three. Wow. That's the first three all day for Michigan. They've missed their first seven. And now it's a four point game. 31 for Rose. And a reach in. Called on Rose, his fourth. Jalen thought he had it. That was an NBA three he knocked down. A good a, screen by Howard to keep Hill from getting out on him. We got a minute to go in this game, and I know he's probably watching a huge basketball college fan. Paul Azinger, we just want to say, all of us at CBS Sports, we look forward to your speedy recovery and getting you back out there on the PGA Tour. A lymphoma located on his shoulder found this week, and Paul's going to be out of action for a while, but we look forward to getting you back out on the PGA Tour. Now, Parks... He has a four out of four at the line. And 21 now for Parks. 108 to go. Here's that quickness and the great penetration off the dribble that Michigan's got. Crawford, three, Howard tips. And Collins gets it off the floor. Under a minute to go. And King, King reached around. And will send Hill to the line. Second on King. That is the 10th, Billy. So now from here on out, they're shooting two. And of course, that takes a lot of pressure off. You know, that first end of that one and one, compared to knowing you've got two up on that line. Calvin's dad watching on, as he always does, in a white shirt, khaki pants. I wonder if he's finished that bag of M&M's yet. <laughs> Two shots. Two possessions, Jim. Shaking that head. Calvin is just the name to uh, the Silver Anniversary team by the NCAA. 
Grant only one out of five, but Parks comes down with an opponent for traveling. Jim, I think that the ball left his hands before he hit the floor. He was on the way down. No timeout called by the Wolverines with 48.6 seconds to go. There are a couple of threes away from tying it. Duke by six, last minute. Motor Trend Magazine said my prism reminded them of the $30,000 import sedan class. Car and driver described my Geo Prism as lovely lines, Lexus refinement. An automobile magazine called my prism the new wonder of the automotive world. Before you buy your next car, call 1-800-GET-TO-KNOW and get to know Geo Prism. Road and Track said run, don't walk to your Geo dealer. So that's what I did. You do know, Charles, the reason we chickens cross the road, metaphysically. I ain't talking to no chicken. Your show, baby. I want to talk about stupid NBA nicknames. Baby Jordan, stupid. Penny, better than that for Stupid. Pimp, that's dumb. That room. Well, that's stupid. Stupid, 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 stupid. What about round mound of rebound? What about chicken for dinner? Chicken dinner, yes. Absurd. Yeah. at that 63-point total for Michigan. Jalen Rose has almost half the points. He has 31, which is his highest total in his career as a starter. And interestingly, Jim, uh, Jalen Rose comes into his junior year as the leading junior scoring player in the United States. Terrence Wrencher of Texas right behind comes him. in second into the season. But Rose only one time in his career did not start a game, and that was his freshman year at Iowa. Iowa. He tallied his career-high 34. I'll tell you another thing about him that's kind of interesting in, in reading up some stats. There are only two players in their freshman years that ever scored 100 points in the NCAA tournament play. Kenny Anderson in 90, who had that great run, and the other one was Mark Aguirre way back in 79, so he joins the list of very short list there, just three. One timeout for each team, Duke with, or Michigan with possession. Since Down the, by six. Since the clock stops, I think he can still go for two. You don't have to throw up threes yet. Skip it over to King. Duke really defending the three. King short. way short. With the side of the backboard. 25 seconds remaining. So what Duke players are doing, they're dribbling into traps instead of throwing before the trap takes place. And a reach in by Crawford. That'll put Parks on the line, shooting two with 18 seconds. Hey Jim, I say that as a technique, and of course you learn as you, as you play against quality teams on the road. You can't wait till the trap gets to you. You have to anticipate the trap is going to come and get rid of the ball before the trap has a chance to go ahead and, and contain you. And Duke is not doing that well at all today. But again, we say it's only the fifth game of the year. This team is going to improve a lot. Parks hitting some big free throws. What a day he's had, Billy. Got to think he's on a way on his way to the Chevy MVP from the Duke side. This is a career high 22 points against an outstanding opponent in Juwan Howard. 23. Now they got to think three here. Collins read it, tipped I, it over to Clark. Well, you think that? That could have been intentional. Yep. You know, just to push away, I'm surprised it wasn't. You know, Mike is very happy. He realizes his team's going to improve a lot. And you know, one of the things when you look around the country, Jim, and we already had one such team, is Kentucky, with a very deep squad, a lot of size. Arkansas is that kind of a ball club. This Duke team, North Carolina, a lot of teams that are up there right now. You can see them improving a lot, but boy, they really can't get into foul trouble with all this depth. Going 
for the Fab Five, Duke becomes a 0-4 situation, right? In their careers. That's right. Two in the 92 season. Last year in December at Cameron. Now this one. All right. Final 10 seconds. Three pointers followed up. But Grant Hill got hit in the shoulder as Jalen came over the top. Jackson. Well, it's a 10 point lead or a 10 point win, and the last time Michigan lost by. A double-digit figure was the game at Duke last year, Billy. That was an 11-point Duke victory. 73-63. Blue Devils remain unbeaten. They'll move up in the rankings. Parks and Hill. Open to be a couple of players who can lead the Blue Devils back to the promised land this season. Back, perhaps, to the final four.